Hello, and thank you so much for joining us today for Conversations for Consciousness here on Awake TV Network. I'm your host, Jennifer Cahill, and I like to think that I'm a little more than a host, that I am somebody who gets to be a conduit for you into many different thought leaders on a variety of topics as they all relate to consciousness. And today I'm so grateful to have with us not only a brilliant thought leader and doctor, but also a dear friend who is one of my go-to healers here where I live in Lisbon, Dr. Jose Marie Emerald. So Dr. Jose and I are going to be talking today a little bit about his work in the quantum side of how he does really profound work with naturopathy and homeopathic solutions, as well as this incredible quantum machine that we'll be telling you about today. And before I do that, though, I want to read to you a little bit about Dr. Jose's journey, his bio, so you have a little sense of who he is. From an early age, Jose Maria Amaral has dedicated his life to the so-called unconventional therapies. He studied international relations at Luciada University and intended a master's program in American studies at the University of London Senate. He even worked at the Portuguese Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And then in 2003, he began consultations publicly and Reiki courses. He, as I mentioned, is a naturopath, homeopath, and quantum biofeedback therapist. He has been providing therapeutic care in natural medicine with the public in several clinics in mainland Portugal and the islands. In addition, he works with the machine I mentioned called SIO, I believe, and I'll have Dr. Jose tell you a little bit more about that. <laughs> in May 2020, he was invited to publish an article in a French scientific journal on the theme Reconnaissance de la Naturopathie, l'exemple portugais. This article was then translated and published in Portugal in the magazine Espaço Alberto in August 2020. He has also been a guest speaker on multiple podcasts in Portugal and abroad and talks to them about health and natural medicine. Dr. Jose, I'm so grateful to have you in my life and to be able to share your wisdom with our listeners and viewers today. It's my pleasure, pleasure, Jennifer, to, um, to be here on your show. Very, very, very grateful. Yes, thank you so much. I see Dr. Jose as often as humanly possible, <laughs> about every <laughs> two weeks or so when I'm here in Lisbon. And I just have to give him a testimonial for the incredible work that he does. Uh, he's just really intuitive. He uses his machine, his intuition, his homeopathic and naturopathic background to help everybody who comes in. I've referred him to several others as well with greater health and vitality. So perhaps Dr. Jose, you could share with us a little bit about your journey. How was it you went on this natural healing journey that brought you to where you are today? Oh, it was it was a long time ago. I think I was born with this, Jennifer. I think I was born with this, but I had I had my my time to to wake up on the on this on these matters. I I was working as you said uh, on on the Portuguese foreign affairs, uh, and I had that moment that I think uh, everyone, every human being, have it. That moment that that question. Uh, I really happy. I really happy what what are you doing do you really enjoy it and that was so strong in my heart I remember that day it was in 2002 and and then I was thinking okay I think I have to change something <laughs> I think I have to do something for my life uh, and then I discover I discover a friend of mine uh, gave me some information about Reiki and I never heard about that those kind of 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 um, of informations and also uh, tarot. Uh, so I start my studies. I was um, first. I start. My, I started my studies with tarot readings and then Reiki, and that was like an open door to me. And in when I enter, I managed to enter in the in the in that in that world. I met people and people introduced me to other in universe. And then I went to, um, uh, I've done an osteopathic course and then naturopathic, homeopathic, and then I, uh, I'm um, uh, a biofeedback therapist, quantum healer. So uh, that, that was a start. And also, uh, how can I say, um, and also um, 
a way. It was not uh, for it. This is not a work for one day, Jennifer. You know this. This this kind of work inside. We we need to have some roots, deep roots. What we are doing. Otherwise, I think it's ego. You know, ego wants to do everything. But then the, at the end of the day, what 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 are uh, the important things that stay inside. So this is like a, a road and still is, and still is in my life. So uh, I, since then, I remember I, I opened a little office here in Lisbon in 2004, and then I start receiving people first with Reiki consultations, tarot readings, and then as soon as I took my osteopathic course, I receive, I start to receive as well. So that that was a start and still is in my in my life. Of course, I'm I've done some changing. Uh, I met uh, this universe, this quantum universe that is so incredible. I remember I, I I sleep every day with that book, Bruce Lipton, The Biology of Beliefs. So I I, I know that you <laughs> that you that you know that book. So. Uh, uh, and also Joe and uh, Greg Redden, that's so important to me. And uh, this is, an, it's, I think it's an unfinished business. <laughs> we still continue to study, still continue to do and to discover who we are. And also that information inside me, I can provide um, to be a healer to others. Mm. So powerful, Dr. Jose. So let's, let's talk about the consciousness of our health. What role does consciousness play in our health or vitality or well-being in general in life? Oh, completely. 100%. I think more than 100%, Jennifer, more. I think the way that we see life, I think, I think the way that we, we face the things that, that happen to, to us, it's, it can be an open conscience or, or a closed one. So, but also in any way, it is an invitation. I believe that everything that happened to us, it's an invitation for us to change. Of course, we have the free will. Will we change it or not? It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's in our hands, but I think it's everything. Because imagine, I had, I've been uh, receiving people for almost 20 years and um, um, I've been uh, receiving people with uh, having people with uh, um, lots of deepest problems but uh, I've, I've learned the way that you saw your problem is the solution. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, pause. I, I want to rewind and dive into that. Say that again, Dr. Jose. <laughs> the way that you saw your problem, that you see your problem, it's also the solution. For example, if you see that your problem is a very deep problem and an unsolved problem, the solution will be none. But if you see that your problem, it's a, a process, it's an invitation for you to change, the solution, the solution will be more than 100% and will open your consciousness and will, you will achieve more deep understanding of who you are and what you are doing on this planet. And the disease, the problem, just dissolve because that is only information, that is only vibration. We are energy, Jennifer. We are vibration. We are only information. And if you, if you understand that, that is a solution. Mm. Uh, I completely resonate with that, Dr. Jose. I think it's so important to understand. I used to tell job seekers this in my prior career when I ran a recruiting company, I would often have people who would come to me and tell me their woes about their job. And they'd say, oh, Jennifer, I was fired from this job or my boss was terrible or it was this or it was awful. And what I noticed, Dr. Jose, to your point, was there was a direct correlation to how big of a deal they made what they just went through and how quickly they were able to find another job. So for example, if somebody said, oh, it was terrible, it was awful, they were mean to me, nobody ever treated me right, and I was fired, and it was so unfair, that person might take 10 times longer to find a job because their consciousness is that somebody is doing something to them. However, in the reverse, I came across many beautiful, wonderful, talented people who were fired from jobs. And when they said, you know what? 
I was in a position and it wound up not being in the highest and best good for me. I just realized that, you know, it wasn't what I was passionate about and they told me the same thing. So we went our separate ways. And what I found a hundred percent of the time is if you didn't make something a big deal, then the employer wouldn't make it a big deal and you'd be able to get another job just like that. But if you made something a big deal, then it clearly became a big deal for the employer, whomever you wanted to work for. For sure. Yeah. Definitely. I have patients, um, uh, Jennifer, that they, they come uh, to me with that death sent sentence, but they still live. They still live. The way they, they understood their problem, the way they felt it, the movement inside, the way that they, they, it was a, a, a natural key for healing and also a salvation for them. Mm, and yes. that is so powerful the way that you that that you see and understand the things that happens to you of course like uh, like so many so many writers that we, we like to to read they talk about beliefs jennifer and beliefs uh wow it's that 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 is an invitation that is an, an amount enormous of work if you have your conscience full of dark beliefs full of beliefs that don't open your life of course like you said it it they they will have more work to do <laughs> you know, it's so. funny, Dr. Jose, I think uh, it was just today, there's an app, I have many apps, as I'm sure many, uh, most of us do, and there's the secret app. I know not everybody loves the secret, but I've been kind of a devotee of it for a long time. And it said today, this was on the secret app, that we are one, we are all connected, and we are all part of the one energy field, or the one supreme mind, or the one consciousness. Call it whatever you want, but we are all one. As you think negative thoughts about another, you are separating yourself from the one and your negative thoughts will return to harm only you. You have been given free will to choose, but when you think negative thoughts and have negative feelings, you are separating yourself from that unity consciousness. I just thought that was so powerful. Yeah. Completely, completely, and I think it's 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 the key to 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 really live in the, it, not survive. I don't like the word survive. I prefer the word living. Mm. To live, <laughs> to understand who you are, what you are doing, and the minute that you give uh, some light to to your consciousness, another person in the planet. Um, are receiving as well because we are all connected if you uh, embrace your light if you decide to embrace your light who you are the movement the energy is so powerful that another person in the opposite side of this world will receive that mm, yes a hundred percent i love the work that heart math does on coherence where you can have yeah. people thousands of miles away a husband and wife for example or two yeah. people who love each other and they can actually measure the coherence mm -hmm. of heart rates thousands of miles apart. And it goes to show you that the more coherent we are with ourselves or with others around us, the greater flow state that we're able to be in and the greater ease and effortlessness there is. Life doesn't have to be hard, yet when we look for life to be hard, it becomes hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just meditate to achieve to the, we are so, so we, we've been so, how can I say, we've been so left uh, side of the brain, so rational, that we need to be more open to work more the right side of the brain to meditate to achieve deepest consciousness. And meditation is a powerful key, a powerful key for that also. And my I machine, the yeah, that's what I was going to say. That's yeah. one of the things I love about your machine is that before we start, yeah. you always have me pause and meditate. And that's what I want to dive into <laughs> next, Dr. Jose, yeah. is your machine. It's S-C-I-O. Is that correct? Yeah, it's Kio. Yeah, correct. It's Kio. Yeah. We call it Kio. Kio. So tell me, I remember the first time we were in your office, I was a little trepidatious. All I remembered was somebody fabulous had referred you to me. In fact, I think it was my acupuncturist here, Haley. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I showed up that first day and there was a machine and I had no idea what to expect. He said, <laughs> Jennifer, don't worry. You gave an example of some famous tennis star and you said, you know, even though doping isn't allowed, this machine is one of the only things that professional athletes are still allowed to do that can increase their vitality. Tell us yeah. about that. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, the, um, this uh, this machine works um, with the, the information that we have in our cells, in our skin, in our body, 
all this information finally uh, can be read. I'm sure that your audience know the work of Dr. Masaru Emoto, The Power of Water. He described the, the, how the water can change through do, um, frequencies. Uh, if you are talking good things, powerful and lovely things, the molecules of the water can change and can be, can be more brighter. And But if you talk uh, darker things, if you talk about bad energy, the molecules can change for a uh, uh, slower. Um, so that is exactly with this uh, what this kind of um, machine works. It works with the information. It can read the information about your body. The how is your hormones? How how are your vitamins, minerals? How your thoughts? Thank God, Jennifer. We are living in a moment in this planet that everything can measure, can be reading, and also be scientific proof. And to all that information, I can also do this uh, kind of work online. It's like Reiki. If you are in Australia and I'm here in Portugal, and I'm thinking on on you, Jennifer, and send some light to you, you probably, if you are intuitive and open, you will receive it because each one of us not only have a biochemical information, but also a soul signature. And those information I put in the machine and the machine will read all of your measures because you, we are unique. Mm. I'm unique, you are unique. Each one of you that are listening are unique. So that the kind of reading that this machine can do. It can see the vitamins, the minerals, and also the emotional blockage and correct it due to vibration, through vibration, sorry. Because it's electrical, it's energy. The body, it's, it's um, the movements in our organs. It's, 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 um, we can do it that through energy and that energy can be written. We can read that energy, thank God. And so, and also the, 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 um, we can give advice, some foods people are, uh, well, that in our days is a struggle. We deal a lot with food poisoning and we can read and help the person, help the client, be careful, don't eat so much of this, eat so much of that, because I can also do this, because I've studied four years as a naturopath and then homeopath, so I have all this information that um, with the machine I can give to the client. What, what I recall being most astounding, Dr. Jose, when I first came into your office, uh, as many of you know, who have been watching for a while, I do pray and meditate every day as part of my daily practice. And around the time that I was introduced to Dr. Jose, I was really struggling with anger. Anger was just hitting me upside the head. And for any of you out there who might be spiritual, you feel bad or wrong when you get angry. You're like, this is bad. It shouldn't be this way. I've done enough work where I shouldn't get angry. And so that day I'd really hit a wall with my anger. And I remember being on my knees, begging the universe for strength. I was like, please send me a way to release this anger that is stopping me and provoking me. And not five hours later, I'm sitting in Dr. Jose's office, have no idea what this machine is. And the first words out of your mouth, Dr. Jose, when the machine started working was, mm. oh, Jennifer, it's picking up that you have anger. Would you like me to clear that? And I almost fell into tears. I was like, A, how could the machine know that I was angry? Yeah. I was sold at that moment. And B, you know, the anger that I was experiencing has really significantly dissipated uh, almost entirely since that first session that we did. So I'm so profoundly grateful. And I strongly believe in the power of the quantum side. Yeah, thank God, like I told you, this, this information all can be measured in our days, like vitamin C. Vitamin C have their own vibration. Vitamin D that is so important for our health in this world right now, that also can be measured. And, I'm, and the, the machine have inside those little information, send a sign to the body, and then I receive with the, with the powerful software that I have it, the information and the levels, the parameters. And then, and then I can suggest uh, and also advise the client because it's not only the mind, the importance information is to the body. The body also wants to give information, but sometimes the mind block it. And we think that we need iron, but at the, at the end of the day, we need selenium. So this kind of information, I can help 
I can help the client and also emotions, the emotions, all emotions have now been scientific proof and they have all vib only vibration. So anger have a lowest vibration, love have a highest vibration and that can measure because they have inside in that little box, the machine and then measure to, to uh, one second through the body and then I receive in the, in, the, in, the, in the computer. So of course, the first session normally uh, study a little bit the deepest uh, emotions that are not, uh, that are blocked, blockage the, 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 the meridians and the energy inside. So it's very useful to clean uh, uh, for the client, can breathe a little bit more and be more open and be more happy because we need all always to be happy. We need to be grateful and to be happy. And the first thing for a good, a good, a good, a good healing um, uh, appears for the uh, happen is to accept it like Jennifer does. Jennifer accept, she accept her anger and then easily she cured. Because the machine is only, how can I say, it's only a hand that the rest the client must do. Mm. Yeah, so we just did another show recently with Dr. Patricia Musem, who is talking about her book, Beyond Medicine, and how it's all about our emotions and giving ourselves permission to feel the emotions, breathe through them, feel our feelings. I think I keep getting redirected to that over and over. Everybody I've been speaking with this week has been reiterating how important it is to allow ourselves to feel exactly what we're feeling, no matter where we're at, and to feel happiness as much as sadness, yeah. joy, as well as anger or fear, and to just trust that everything we're feeling is part of the greater good. And the more we hang on to it, as we get caught kind of and hooked by an emotion or an idea, then that's where it becomes unhealthy in many ways because it runs us rather than us having power. Yeah, I, I've learned that. I've learned that with a, with a powerful guru, very important Indian guru. And he told me a long time ago, acceptance. Acceptance is the first key for changes happen for change to be to happen just accept and when you accept you don't resist you don't fight the you open a field of consciousness a field of healing in yourself and that that is that that still is inside me until this day and that information that i want also to to give to your audience and also to give to my clients every day they have the power sorry but i know that a <laughs> lot of energies don't like us to talk about this but they have the power each one of us have the power inside and that must be awakened of all human beings in on on this planet mm. I completely agree, Dr. Jose. And before we tell people where to connect with you if they want to book a session, can you share with us, are there any takeaways, anything perhaps I didn't get a chance to ask you today or anything that you'd like to leave our listeners and audience with today? Um, for um, if they want to, to, to reach me, if they want uh, to reach me. Do you have any closing thoughts before we give them your contact info? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um Feel what you um, open, open for a, for what? Well, let me think. I want to say that um, just ask yourself, ask yourself if you really want to change. Ask yourself if you are, if it is the moment, and if it is the moment, if you, and if you really want to change, I can help you because it's it's easier. It's easier when a person really wants to change. You have the whole universe in front of you. But if you resist, if you are, if you are, if you have a strong resistance in, on yourself, you're just going to be hurt. So just open yourself, open to, to a new world, and for sure you will have it. Mm. Yeah, it's so funny you say that, Dr. Jose. Just the other day, I was listening to a friend of mine, David Guillaume, who does little 10 minute video clips of consciousness. 
And he was saying one of the ways that we can create miracles in our life is to number one, know that source or the universe has a role in it. And number two is us. How much energy do we put into it? If I sit around and I say, I want to be healed, I want to be healed. Or if I say, I want a million dollars or a soulmate, whatever it is, if you're yeah. sitting there, but you're not taking action, you're intending, you're intending, and no action is following that, you're never going to be able to create the miracles, the help, the soulmate, the prosperity you want. Yet it takes being willing and open and choosing that you want that for yourself and taking actions consistent with that. And you might sometimes take actions that aren't consistent. It's just about being kind to yourself and compassionate as you go through the process. Can I do a, a small exercise with your beautiful Please. audience? Oh, I always like to do to ask this to 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 to, to my clients. Uh, between zero to ten, what is your healing number? Without no judgment, zero, nothing, and ten, maximum. What is the will of of to change? What what is your healing number? What is the will that you have inside to change? If it is four, that's perfect. Don't judge yourself because you, you can work. Uh, uh, with that four and uh, and to be and to to achieve the seven number seven or even the ten but what is the will for you that you have inside for you to change that is the most important question that i always like to ask because it puts the person on the center okay let me think oh my god i don't want to change to, to, to i don't i don't like changing i don't want i don't have energy let me give you the number two okay that is perfect but the person is center and when when the person is center they can have movements they can uh, uh, begin the changing mm. Yes, so true. I, I, it's amazing just to play with that. I did that with a few guests a while back on the David Hawkins scale of consciousness, power versus force, where he says, you know, everything, we energetically know where we are, and it all comes back to our consciousness. The moment we put our conscious awareness and our attention on it, then we can begin to play with, we can expand it, we can contract it, we can dance, exactly. and move with it, and then we become the co-creators of the universe. So Dr. Okay. What a beautiful exercise to wrap up today with. And on that note, I know you treat people from around the world with this amazing Skio machine. Can you tell people if they want to connect with you or do a session where they would do one with you? Yeah, of course. They can, they can, um, they can uh, find me on Instagram. It's Jose uh, Maria Amaral. I think um, it's easier. Uh, I, I don't know, Jennifer, if you are putting also that I'll information. In your yeah. Bio. We'll and it also in. it's easier to find me i'm all all i'm in twitter i'm in telegram i'm in facebook with my name <clears throat> jose maria amaral uh, and yeah. i will be willing to help you yes thank you so much dr jose and he recently joined our platform on om heelscom and so if you know you want to book with dr jose go right away go find him on instagram on twitter he is incredible and for fun, if you want to see if you match with him, you can take our free matching questions on om heelscom and see who you match with. It might be Dr. Jose, it might be someone else, but we're having a lot of fun. It's really incredible to see just energetically how people match. And I think you and I definitely match Dr. Jose. Uh, definitely. <laughs> yes. definitely. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Thank you very much for your, uh, for you. This is, you open your house this is very, uh, very important. I know, Jennifer, I know that your work is very important. You put in a higher scale. So thank you very, thank you very much deep for my heart. Oh, I cannot thank you enough, my friend. I wish that Namaste. everyone out there who watches this goes out and books a session with you. You have made a profound and lasting difference in my life, my husband's life, and the people I'm referring to. So I just thank you for your time, your energy, and the greater good that you're doing in the world. And I wish for each of you out there that you connect to your health, you connect to your vitality, and that you're able to live the fulfilled life that each one of us is entitled to. When we're born, we deserve happiness, health, vitality, and love. And so don't always rely on somebody else to give that to you, whether it's Dr. Jose or me, give it to yourself. Go out there this week, cherish yourself, love yourself, and watch your health increase. Much love. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.